There have been extraordinary scenes at State Parliament on one of the final sitting days of the year. The opposition went missing in action, allowing the government to pass legislation without any debate. Labor censured the LNP for its absence from the chamber. State political reporter Jessica Van Vonderen has more. Debating legislation is an MP's bread and butter, a fundamental part of their job. But today the opposition went missing. Not one of them, not one of them could be bothered turning up. They are not fit for government, they are not even fit for opposition. After several minutes they started dribbling back in. But by then the government was quickly passing three bills with no debate. They have abandoned the people they represent. They are an embarrassment. The opposition says it was misled about the parliamentary schedule. What the government have done today, and everyone needs to know, is to be deliberately dishonest about the agenda for debate here in the parliament. The government denies it. Too lazy to be here to debate the bills of this parliament. The question, of course, is where were they? I don't know. The LNP's leader outside the House concedes they could have gone to lunch. Maybe they did. But Campbell Newman says the LNP planned on supporting the legislation anyway. The fact that they've gone through in this way um, is ultimately uh, immaterial. The stuff-up overshadowed Mr Newman's education policy for 120 state schools to be given greater independence, the ability to control their budgets and hire staff. A policy ripped off from a failed West Australian Liberal government. The system that is being proposed has failed in American schools, it's failed in British schools. The teachers' union is threatening industrial action if the proposal is implemented. And we think it's good policy and we'd ask them to think again. Not likely. Jessica Van Vonderen, ABC News.